Hey, hey, hey guys, how's it going? I hope all of you are doing great today! Check it out guys, we are back on Legacy SMP, strolling around through the medieval district, and I just thought, you know, at the beginning of the episode, I thought we'd take a short little walk around this area and check out what everyone has been building, because this place is just amazing, guys. I've really been, you know, by myself all the way over there, and... People have just been doing so much work around here. It's just amazing, guys. We've got bees. We have the chapel of the... Well, what, is, what is this place? A bee chapel? <laughs> it's just amazing what guys have been... What the people have been building on this server. It's been really a lot of fun. So yeah, guys, if you haven't checked out their videos, make sure to check those out. It's definitely worth it. Anyways, guys, the main reason why we're actually not in the hidey hole is... We... We have a prankster on the server, that's right. We have a guy who is up to no good, he is looking for mischief. And as you can see guys, we are a fish now. Yes, we are an Archie fish, which is which is kind of derpy. Not very cool, but kind of derpy, I like it. <laughs> so what I was doing is, throughout the night, I was actually AFK fishing. And what happened was, I guess I got turned into a fish, that's right. <laughs> and luckily, well, unluckily for you guys, I wasn't recording while, while this happened, but someone left a, vi a villager raiding party in my hidey hole. So that's not very cool, guys. That, that's not cool. <laughs> so as you can see, guys, the entrance has been closed up. There is no exit for our hidey hole. And if we take a look inside, I think... We are lucky. The two uh, illagers who were inside the uh, inside the hidey hole have despawned, which is, I guess, it's a little unfortunate for you. But yeah, we we are lucky, guys. We are very lucky. So basically, what happened was, guys, I was over here, you know, minding my own bish b b bishness, fish minding my own fishness, and then I just went up here. This place was all closed up, and then right over here there were two. Villager, raiding, what do you call those people? The illagers, right? Yeah, oh gosh. Survival Minecraft, yeah. Anyways, guys, I ran for the door. I think I was out at two hearts. I closed this thing. Luckily, I was able to jump out, and we kept our levels because I have something planned for these levels. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sort through all of the AFK fishing loot and, yeah, prepare that stuff for you, and I think we're going to build something pretty cool on this episode. So, guys... I hope you're excited for this episode, and I hope you're ready. And if you're not, you know what to do. Grab your popcorn and grab your favorite designated beverage. I guess, let's get this fishy episode started. All right, guys, there we go. We have gathered some spruce and a bunch of leaves, but unfortunately, we have pods dollified. I guess we'll call it that. Our entrance, yeah. Yeah, I don't really get used to that, that the spruce, uh, when you grow a spruce tree, that it actually turns the, the grass into pods doll. So we're gonna have to clean that up. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, silk touch on our diamond shovel yet. So I guess, yeah, we'll, we'll have to we'll have to find out what we're gonna do there. But first, guys, you know what I thought I'd do? I thought I would show you my gear up to now, because I have been busy AFK fishing, and yeah, we, we do have a bit of mending. Check it out, guys. We have fully de decked out diamond boots. We have protection four, unbreaking three, the same on the diamond chest plate as here, with some thorns. And somewhere down here, we also have a, let's have a look, right over here, a fully decked out diamond hel helmet, protection four, unbreaking three, respiration, aqua affinity, and mending. 
which we can't wear so we're, we're gonna have to we're have to gonna we're gonna have to figure something out i don't really want to kill myself because guys we actually have a death counter on here and i don't really want that thing to go up right now so i guess we'll be wearing that thing right now and of course guys i almost completely forgot we still have our tools we have fortune three unbreaking three efficiency five and mending we also have mending efficiency five silk touch i'm breaking three on our diamond pickaxe we also have looting three mending sharpness five unbreaking three and then you know some some weird some weird tools that we're gonna have to upgrade but that's gonna come guys we still have one mending book somewhere in here oh no it's in my inventory so who knows we're gonna use that for something yeah but it's looking good, guys. We're getting decked out, and it's only episode two. I'm excited. All right, guys. It's a new day for me. I have done some resource gathering, and we are ready to do some building. That's right. We have got to get into this thing. I mean, check it out. Everyone has started building a whole bunch of houses, and what do we have? We have two trees and a little hole. So we definitely need to clean that up. And what I want to do is, first of all, murder all of these animals. That's right. But once we do that, we are going to build... That was, that was very dark. Yeah, that was really dark. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to build a shop. That's right. I want to be selling a whole bunch of stuff here. You know, get into the early game, sell a whole bunch of stuff, make some money while doing that so that's what i'm gonna do so i guess let's clear out all of these animals right now you know the best thing about this we actually have looting on our sword check it out we have looting three so we are gonna get all of the leather that we will ever need which is pretty cool guys and we will have a whole bunch of food so i'm really happy about that and the final one is dead guys let's check this out Oh, we got two cow heads. That's cool. And one sheep head. I'm pretty happy about that, but mainly we have a whole bunch of leather, almost three stacks. We have a whole bunch of mutton and some beef. So we should be pretty decked out for food for the coming episodes. Now, there's just one more final step to do, and that is just tear this whole thing down. And once I'm done with this, I think it is time for another time lapse that's right i want to practice making time lapses without the replay mod because unfortunately we don't have the replay mod for 1.15 yet i hope it comes out yeah fingers crossed guys but anyways guys while i cut down the last fence how about you guys sit back relax and enjoy the time lapse And there we go guys, the time lapse is complete and we now have a fully functional 
bookshop that's right we are selling enchanted books if you can't see by the little by the little what, what are you going to call this thing the little little shop shops thingy yeah i like this i don't know what you call it but i really like how it just sticks out there yeah we played a, we played a lot with the with some leaves here made it look overgrown we also played uh, played around here with the uh stripped stripped log variants right there and above all, I really like how this turned out. We also added some, some oak fences here to light up the area a little bit. And as well, some lanterns for some light. And I think it looks pretty cool. I especially like these uh, sweetberry bushes, which just look... Yeah, they, they give the whole thing a lot of color, which is really nice. So yeah, I've just been going around and planting them here and there. And it looks really nice. I think what we're going to do a little later in future episodes, we will definitely have to lure, have to work on this area you know make this place look nice add some the usual guys add some leaves add some trees maybe add some more buildings right here maybe make some farms here i don't know but it definitely looks really sweet i'm really happy with it let me just tear this thing down right here and then we can almost we can pillar up a little bit and have a look at how this area looks because i think from up here we can see a lot better from above how this area looks so Let's have a look. I like this. I really like how it's turning out. We have a nice overgrown uh, type of feeling that we have right here, especially with the uh, with the wheat fields and the carrots growing right there, and our little salmon, which is just chilling on a rock there. He never wants to leave, which I really like. So yeah, guys, it's turned out really well. So how about let's go inside and check out the shop. So I've decorated the inside off camera a little bit and I think you saw in the time lapse we had a little visitor from our we had a little visit from our wandering trader and yes I will admit it guys I killed the wandering trader and his llamas but check it out guys we actually have a wandering villager head right now so I built a little what do, what do you call those things the armor stands decked him out with some blue leather and I think he looks really sweet. He almost looks like a trader. So yeah guys, let's check this out. This is our bookshop. I have a little lectern right here which we can read. Welcome to Archie's One Diamond Bookstore. That's right guys, One Diamond. Don't want to waste your time fishing? Then waste your time looking through the chests. Every book is worth one diamond. Or, do you not own a fishing rod yet? Don't you worry. Every fishing rod in the barrel is worth two diamonds. That's right, guys. We, whoops, we are selling our enchanted books. Now, we have a whole bunch of fishing rods right here, which you can buy for two diamonds. And I think that's a pretty good deal. Yeah, guys. And all these chests are full of enchanted books. Now, I have a little confession to make. I actually set this uh, shop up last night. I haven't told any of the legacy players yet that we have a shop set up, but they have been busy, guys. The word hasn't even been out yet, and we have earned one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten diamonds, which is just insane. Just you wait until we let all of the legacy players know that we have this shop. We're gonna be we're gonna be earning some diamonds, especially, yeah. We're not really gonna need all of these books, and there are some pretty there's some pretty book, good books in here, like Depth Strider. I think we also have a bunch of protection and some smite in here. I can't find them right now. Respiration is really good. So yeah, guys, I'm really happy. We've built our first shop and it's looking really sweet. Now, guys, we set up our shop, and there's another thing which I want to do. And what I've seen right over here is a couple of the legacy players have set up the first game on the server. That's right. I believe it was Vigo Man and Sean Bits who have built this game, and it is called the stinger that's right so i'm not 100 percent sure how this works but they have a rule book right here so let's have a look in this yeah welcome to the stinger the game where you are getting stung or being the stinger turn over for the rules so to enter the game put your name on a paper in the hopper inside the barrel a name will be displayed this player is the target for the stinger all right to become the stinger, put all your stuff in the chest and equip the given armor and weapon. <laughs> Number four, you can now hunt down the target and try to kill them. If the stinger kills the target, the target owes the stinger a favor. If the target kills the stinger in defense, the stinger lost and must give up. All right. Number seven, 
The stinger owes the target one diamond if they get killed by them. If you see your name as the target, you can remove it with the button. And number 10, no AFK killing. Number 11, pr please provide a chest to put potential items in so they do not despawn. All right, guys. So how I understand this, we have to grab a piece of paper right here. We have to rename it to put our name on it. Let's do that right now. So we're going to put Archie right here. So, and now we need to put our name here in the hopper. All right. Oops, there we go, that's it. I think we're officially part of the game right now. So how this works is um, we can come right here, we can press the button here and a name, not, oh dear, oh dear, I'm not gonna start right now, but I guess someone has already pressed the button and a name will appear right in here. So if I was hunting Nash Crafter right now, which I won't, don't worry, I would have to put on this armor and take a stinger. All right, that, that an iron sword, guys? How am I gonna do that? Oh dear. So I have to kill Nash Crafter then with this armor and that iron sword. So yeah, and then I have to put all of her loot in here. So yeah, guys, that, that is the rule of the game. I think that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I will definitely have to get in contact with the legacy players right now, especially with Vigo and with Sean Bits to see how this game works. But I definitely wanna do some killing. So yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. I will update you guys how, how this thing works in the coming episodes, and who knows, maybe we can do some killing, that's right. <laughs> All right guys, and there we go, we are officially part of the Stinger, and we also have built our first shop right here, which is looking, su which is looking super sweet, and we've also added this very little temporary lily pad path, which very conveniently gets us over there. So yeah guys, I'll, I'll let all of the other legacy players know that we have, whoops, that we have a shop now, which we can sell, from which they can buy all of their enchanted books. So that's gonna be super sweet. Let's make a whole bunch of diamonds. Now, before I finish off this episode, there's just one more thing which I wanna talk to you guys about, and that is my plans for the next episode. And that is to finally work on you know, the interior, uh, the all of the stuff which we have in here, and above all, the storage system. Because guys, we've been living out of these barrels for far too long. This just doesn't cut it, guys. I mean, check it out. This is our, um, this is our valuables chest. We accidentally crafted the diamond chest plate, but we definitely need to work on this place. This is not looking good, guys. We need a good, we need a good storage system, and above all, a good place to sleep. Now, I'm not gonna be working on a hobbit hole because right now a lot of very famous people are working on hobbit holes and if you work on a hobbit hole right now, you will be accused of cheating. So, not cheating, of copying. <laughs> so, I don't want that. So, instead what I'm gonna do, what I've been thinking of doing is opening this place up. I wanna open this place up, make it nice and open so that we have a place to look up to in the sky and yeah, and then work on the storage system. Yeah, and above all, a nice place to sleep, which is gonna be really sweet. I'm looking very forward to that, and I'm excited to do that, and I hope you guys are as well. However, guys, I think that's gonna be it from me. I hope you liked this episode, and I hope you liked our little time lapse, and yeah, I hope, you'll, I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes of Legacy, because I really am. If you're liking these episodes, of course, make sure to smash that like button. And if you haven't checked out all of the other Legacy players, head on down into the video description. I'll leave a link to all of their channels there, so you can check them out and check out all of their new videos. And yeah, they've been posting really sweet stuff. It's really hard keeping up with all of them, but I'm trying, guys. I really am trying. Everyone's already building shops, so we have that as well. And in the next episode, we're going to be focusing on our storage system. So yeah, guys, like I said, make sure to smash that like button. However, that's going to be it for me. So I guess I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one, guys, and I will see you later.